So we have the problem of measuring grain size in digital images. If you have a vectors graphic program that works okay, I've set it up so you can uh, drag one of these circles over on top of grains and compare their size to those circles. And those circles are uh, calibrated to the divisions between the phi scale uh, that we're using for the grain size. However, I understand and um, appreciate that many of you can't run a uh, graphics program. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can measure them directly on a screen. So uh, it's much harder to do on a touchpad because touching the screen tends to move it. Um, so if you can um, lock the screen, that'll work better. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, expand our scale. Uh, to the point where we can easily measure grains. And then I'm going to calibrate a ruler to the size of grains to make it easier uh, to manage. So this big circle here is uh, one millimeter or 1,000 microns. And so I have this uh, grain size chart um, with uh, millimeters marked on it. So what I'm going to try to do is make it so that that circle is an even number of, of centimeters and then I'll be able to uh, divide easily. So I'm going to make it really big so it's easier. I'm going to make it five, try to make it five centimeters. So to do that I'm going to increase the scale which is different on your different programs. Um, until I get that being uh, five millimeters. So in mine, I can draw a box around it and it's still a little teeny bit too small. So the way my uh, drawing program works, the box goes to the edge of the window, so I'm going to draw it just slightly smaller than the, the window that I have right now. Let's see, let's see how that did. Okay, so now I have five centimeters on my scale. My physical scale is equivalent to one millimeter. So I'm going to write that down. Um, and uh, so that I don't forget it and I will write it uh, on the screen here. So we have uh, one millimeter on the photo equals five millimeters on the ruler. And we'll get rid of this panel so we can see that. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure with the ruler and I want to calculate how many millimeters that is on the photo. So what I need to do is, is calculate uh, what I would multiply times my ruler to get the millimeters on the photo. Um, and so in this particular case, one of the reasons I chose five is that is the equivalent of uh, one over five, which is 20%. So in other words, uh, I multiply and uh, my cell phone, which I'm using to film this, is in the way. Um, by 1 over 5, my measurement, or um, I can take 20% uh, of what uh, I measure. Okay. okay, and then I'm also, because I often mess things up a little bit, I'm also going to write down what the magnification on my screen is for that value. And it's 
581%. Uh, it is the magnification on the screen. And it says in the screen, but that's okay. It's just notes for me. And you can see that uh, I type is uh, not so well. Um, okay, so I want to keep this same magnification. So I just turned the magnifier, which I definitely want to get rid of here. Okay, um, so I don't actually change it. And now I'm going to scroll to the place uh, that I want to measure. So if I zoom out and zoom in, I have to get back to the 581 spot. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try to find it. And there, there it is. Okay. So drag the scale bar. So my box is here. Okay, so now I am going to use my physical ruler and um, write down the numbers that I collect. Uh, so, um, oh, it just occurred to me that you couldn't see my writing from before because of the location of the cell phone camera. We will just deal with that. Huh? Okay, so I need to change the color. I'm going to change the color to white because that's easier to read. There. Forgot it wasn't capturing my whole screen. Okay, so I am going to. I'm going to draw on this so that you can see a little bit what I'm doing here. Okay. So let's see how big my my uh, cursor here. I'm gonna make it really as so small as possible. That's as small as possible. Okay. So let's see what grains you can see in your field of view. Okay. There's this. Let's do an easy one to start with. Okay. We'll start with this grain right here. So what I'm doing is just holding my ruler up to it, and I think you guys probably already know this, but I will just show you in detail. So I am actually in this dimension measuring two centimeters, which is 20 millimeters. Okay. So I need to go back and get some text here. So two uh, centimeters and that gets translated if I won't get 20% of two centimeters that gets translated to one millimeter or 20 centimeters 20% nope that's not actually right um, so I want 20% of 2 centimeters is actually uh, 4 I is 0 0.4 millimeters. So one of the things that you can do I, and I recommend doing, given how hard it is to actually calculate things, let me turn this to white, is just put your direct measurements, what you actually measure, into your spreadsheet, and then multiply that whole column of numbers by the conversion factor. And that will make it so you don't have to do the math uh, directly in your head. Okay. So another thing to note is that I measured uh, the grain in this direction and it's a little bit different size in this direction. It's a little bit smaller. Um, and so for this grain, I would measure the longest axis like I did and say maybe that it was uh, moderately spherical or I could say mod moderately prismatic, right? So uh, you could also measure both dimensions if you wanted and keep that in your notes. 
Okay, so here's a grain right here, again, that has um, two different dimensions in it. And let me move my pencil out of the way here. All right, so in this dimension, I am getting um, we'll say eight millimeters on my ruler, and in this dimension, I am getting we'll say 15 millimeters. So I'm going to go back to the text. This particular grain is eight millimeters by, uh, what did I say? I said 15. Uh, then that's in the dimensions on the image. So, um, this is basically the way you can go through and measure different grains. So one of the things that you'll notice is that you can see the individual pixels. And so we're measuring at the limit of uh, the camera resolution, which makes it really uh, difficult. But on the good side, if you can't tell, let me zoom in even more, which will mess up my scale, but you'll be able to see for sure what I mean here. So, so let's zoom in really, really high, like right in here. All right, when you zoom in too much, you can't actually tell where a grain ends. So, like, I'm sure that this is a grain, like all of this in here. And I would say that this out here is not in the grain. And we have maybe two pixels on either side that is difficult to tell. Right? And so one of the things, that's fine, that's what the data are. And so one of the things to be careful of is if you can't tell within two pixels, you don't have to measure more precisely than the size of two pixels. Right? So there's error in your measurement because the data aren't uh, as high resolution as we can measure in um, this digital image. Okay. So I'm going to back out again. Uh, let me find my button here. Okay, and now my scale's messed up, so I'm not going to actually measure anymore. And maybe at this zone you could say, oh, actually, you know, the edge of the grain uh, is you know, maybe, maybe right here. Right. Okay. So if you're doing this in any sort of program that you can annotate, you can, you can sort of also mark the grains that you measure so you keep track of them. Because you don't want to measure the same ones again, and if you're measuring 50, it'll be hard to keep track of. Right, so you can just sort of like put a dot uh, or something like that in the in the ones that you've measured. Okay. So the other way is if you don't have a good enough screen to measure them on the screen like this, um, you can print out the image and uh, use it with a different with scale uh, bars like you would uh, with a map. And in on when you do it on paper, you don't get to make it easy to measure uh, in terms of getting even numbers of millimeters um, relative to your uh, specific number of microns. Um, however, it could be physically easier for you and you're welcome to do it that way as well. Thanks for watching.